here we are on finally the day that we go into labor and we're on our way to the hospital to have um, our son and we get there and here comes out our beautiful son. You know, they brought him over to me and they put him on my chest for probably a minute and they, they started realizing that his color was a little off. But we found out that he had congenital heart disease. They finally tell us when I'm up and ready to walk that we can go over and we can actually see him. This would be our first official time of actually looking at our son and you know they had him hooked up to a bunch of IVs and tubes and a life support machine on a breathing tube and it just made it all real. You know you don't you don't think anything's going to be wrong when you have a kid and here we are staring at our two day old baby um, on life support and just lifeless laying there so drugged up from the drugs for his heart that he just he didn't even move when i think back now and i look back now to those days i see how serious it was but in the moment god just really held my heart and protected my heart and then that night i went to bed and i thought why us god like why do we have to be the ones with the kid. All the other kids around us were perfectly fine, but why did we have a child and why did we have to go through this? And he went through his first open heart surgery. It all went great. And then he was about seven weeks old. He had a second open heart surgery. Um, and then about a week later, they sent him home. So yay, here's our son getting to come home. Every day I had to, to feed him through a feeding tube and I did have to give him medicines every few hours. Um, I did have to check his oxygen once or twice a day. And then about two months later, he was only home for two months, um, his oxygen level had dropped to, he was a little over 50%. I rushed him back to the emergency room and he got admitted. So they told him that he would have to have his third, um, what they want to call the fix surgery. He'd have to have his third open heart surgery. So here we find ourselves again at the hospital. We just really had to engage in some prayer and just believing in God. And the only word I can say for it is just supernatural faith. I mean, there's having a faith for him to come through, but this was just a faith I can't even explain. It was just so unreal, you know, it's just, here I am, I, I never had a thought in my mind that I was gonna lose my son. I never had a thought in my mind that he was gonna be gone. I never even thought he was on life support. And I'll never forget one of the nurses gave us a packet and it told us all of the cons and what could happen and all of the side effects to this disease. And as soon, you know, my husband's respectful, but as soon as we walked out the doors, he tossed it right into the trash and he said, that's not going to happen to my son. My God is bigger and better than that. Here we are today, five years later. My son's about to start playing soccer, running around like a normal five-year-old, keeping up with every kid. Um, just a true blessing and a true joy. And he's just got more energy than any kid I think I've ever seen. I just stood on the verse that um, for I knew you in your mother's womb, that he knew my son before he even took a day. Um, I just stood on that every day I would read that. How good is God that he holds his life in his hand, that we didn't have to have a fear, that we just had a, it was just a supernatural faith and just standing in faith for our son when he couldn't do it for himself. He is truly a miracle child.